Introduction. The cork. Someone was in his room. The cold realization splashed across him. Henry blinked once, twice, his eyes struggling to adjust to the dark. Labored wheezes echoed against the walls and the floor planks creaked. The intruder moved closer. The late night breeze to the partially open window ruffled the plaid curtain and the moon shed enough light to identify a silhouette. The man seemed crumpled with rolled shoulders and a hitch in his side that made him shuffle awkwardly like he was dragging weights. His movements were sluggish, his breath catching and shuddering. Henry realized why there seemed to be something wrong with the man's head and immediately knew why. It was the cork. It protruded from the right ear like Frankenstein's disjointed shadow. His grandfather was awake after a decade of sleeping. Blood of my blood, bone of my bone, the old man said. His voice crackled as if forcing words were in a rock that had lodged itself deep in his throat, damming up years of cobwebs and stale air. His grandfather lifted his skeleton-thin hand to the side of his head and took firm hold of the cork. His back arched with the inhale of air as if he were sucking in the whole room's air supply. Suddenly, his voice exploded from his body. Take heed from my life and account for my soul. Hot breath and rubbery spittle rained down on Henry in his bed as he turned and grabbed for the chain on the nightstand lamp. The light flashed brilliantly in unison with a sucking pop noise from the freshly dislodged cork. An intense pull wrapped around Henry, and within seconds he no longer existed as any 13-year-old boy and was gone from sight. The old man, however, sunk back into himself, deflating to his previous rumpled state as he replaced the cork firmly in his right ear. He sighed heartily and heavily, turned off the lamp, and trudged back to bed where he crawled beneath the sheets replaced all the medicinal wires and hoses expertly, and collapsed back into his comatose state, an eerie smile fresh on his lips.